YouTube, what do you do? It's your boy Lander back with another YouTube video. So as you guys know, I'm rehabbing my uh, right hamstring. So we went on a track today and did my hip stabilization work to get some blood flow first, getting those hips fired, nice and loose, and also the hamstrings, of course. So I do like duck walks and sidewalks. The sidewalks last time. I tried it and I couldn't really uh, finish them because it put, puts a lot of strain on the hamstring so today I could finish them which is amazing so you go first left and then you go right making sure you fully extend those uh, legs and stay low to the ground <laughs> man I felt that and then we did some leg swings on the ground to just like get some dynamic stretching going in the hamstrings a really great exercise um, if you want to like warm up to get some sprints in but for now I'm just going through the warm up just to rehab my hamstring you know and then we did some single leg glute bridges to activate the glutes making sure I fully extend those hips because like sprinting is you have when you sprint you have to focus on your hips more than it is on your legs it's like the power comes from your hips it's an explosive movement sprinting X, X, especially like the acceleration phase you know so you want to make sure you're loose and warmed up there uh, then I moved on to a drill which is really great um, to teach yourself to pull that leg under your center of mass while I'm rehabbing my hamstring I want to keep my hip flexor strong and my mechanics uh, sound and clear you know so now you're gonna see that in slow motion in slow mo I mean <laughs> so as you can see I pull my leg under myself and I keep a little forward lean um, so I keep that forward lean as you do when you're like in a top speed phase and then I did 10 times 100 meter grass jogs just uh, bouncing off my legs nearly no range of motion at all but just going through the motion I feel this really hard in my injured hamstring you know and then we go to the gym man I did some gym work too some unilateral work first of course we need to we, we always do like the hip mobility work so the hip stability and hip mobility work man if you do those three times a week you're gonna see tremendous results like in your agility work in the sprinting work because like if you're strong but your hips are tight like it's you, you cannot fully tap in the you know, tap into that strength and power you know so make sure you stretch and keep uh, your hips mobile and then of course I start off with doing um, some front carry step ups with a three a 3 kg med ball to work on uh, that knee strength of course a 3 second negative and then put all the strength on my leg that's on the pad and not the one that's on the ground you know so you want to pull with that leg that's on the pad so with my injured leg I feel this nearly nothing at all in the hamstring because it's more like a glute um, exercise instead of a hamstring exercise so this is fine to rehab my my um, hamstring and then these are like straight leg front carry um, single leg deadlifts like RDLs um, first I did it with my non injured leg my left leg as you can see like my whole body is parallel with the ground um, or my non injured leg but when I go to my injured leg man I felt horrible so I didn't want to push myself too hard so I kept the range of motion pretty um, small but again like I felt big pulling like not only like my the injured place but also like just my whole hamstring so I need to work on that to separate the glute um, activation and hamstring activation uh, which is really important when you're sprinting and then I did 5 sets of 10 with uh, front squats uh, light just 60 kgs um, I'm gonna work up next couple of weeks to get my strength up again my back is feeling amazing man 
I don't know how I pulled it off, man, but I was really conscious about my my injury for the past couple of years now. And yeah, I kept rehabbing. I kept doing the good stuff to get uh, rid of that lower back injury. Um, and yeah, so now I'm doing front squats with no pain at all. So I'm, uh, yeah, I'm really happy about it. So only five sets of 10 for with 60 kgs. Nothing crazy, just building up that leg strength again. My bad. Building up that leg strength again. Making sure I get the full range of motion. Back is straight, keeping my elbows up. And as you can see, like, I'm not straight. My bar is not straight on my shoulders, on the front side of my shoulders, because I've like, um, my right side is really tight. So I need to work on that too. And then we went on to do some, of course, some split stands, Bulgarian split squats, you know, you know what I mean? Good stuff. I did it weighted on my left leg and then I tried to put on a little weight on the on the right leg, but it didn't, didn't feel great. So I did maybe like 10 reps instead of 20 and then I went to straight into the, some body weight stuff. So I didn't want to push it too much. I felt like after the workout, I felt pretty great, but I overdid it a little bit. Like to be honest, I overdid it a little bit. But it's okay, it's okay. Like in in a couple of weeks, I'm um, I'm all right with my hamstring again. Uh, it's not that great of a pull, but uh, I cannot sprint for for now. So that's like a really great point because like I can still train some strength you know but I cannot sprint so that's the difference between training for strength and training for athleticism and like speed like the amount of con rapid contractions your body needs to like pre produce when you're like in, a, in an athletic um, sport like American football or, or like track and sh things like that man your body goes through a ton of stress producing that much power in that that much time like no time at all like 10 seconds on a 100 meter you know it's crazy man it's insane so the gym needs to be a place where you're working on imbalances and get your um, health up as an athlete not to be going too crazy on the weights so I had to had to learn this over the years because I went too hard on the gym in the gym and wasn't really paying attention what I was doing on the track and that's why I never really excelled on track in Belgium but uh, it's it's a learning it's a learning curve you know it's a, a work in progress and as you can see now I'm doing a, an abdominal variation which is really hard um, first on the left side and then on the right side really great for sprinters also to work on that uh, lateral strength so your core is strong enough to not rotate over rotate when you're sprinting because i always had this problem so yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video please leave a like subscribe to the channel and catch you guys in the next one peace